Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be trying this noodle right here. It's kimchi noodles with the brand that cooked it, the hot spicy noodles. I never had kimchi before. I'm actually kind of nervous. But we're going to experience it together. So right now my noodles are on boil. So um, once it's all boiled, I'm going to put the sauce in and uh, we'll eat them and experience them together. Okay, everybody, my food is served. We are going to try the kimchi noodles together. Brooklyn's next to me on the ground eating her noodles, her regular noodles. Wow. So if anybody who don't know what kimchi is, kimchi is um, fermented vegetables, mainly cabbage, garlic, chili, and stuff like that. And its flavor is supposed to be spicy and pickled flavored. So here we go. I never tried kimchi, but I'm very interested. My neighbor, my neighbor used to make her own. And what they do is they take the vegetables and they put it underground in, in a cool area to let it uh, ferment, fermente, fermented, to start the fermenting stage. I don't know, but fermented is basically rotten. I want to say it's like rotten vegetables that's flavored and it's a Korean food that they uh, eat regularly. And uh, it's supposed to be really good in fiber, and uh, they say it, they eat it to help uh, so they can keep up with their fast-paced life, which I really don't know what that means. I think it's because it's spicy. I don't know, but here we go. Oh, it's sour. It's tangy. And a little spicy. It's not too spicy. You could taste chili. Mm. I like this noodle, actually. To me, it just tastes like a spicy bread noodle. Uh, not spicy, like chili. Like a chili powder uh, with a little bit of... Uh, well, you. I don't even know how to explain it, really. Honestly, I usually put salsa with some hot sauce in my noodles, and it kind of tastes similar to that. I feel like I tasted this before. You cook it like as if it was a regular package of noodles, boil it. Brooklyn over there was surfing up her noodles. I feel like I tasted this before. It's nothing spectacular. It actually makes me want to try kimchi. There's a vegetable package in there. Actually, here's a piece of something. I don't know what it is. It actually tastes like my cabbage that I fix. Sometimes I shave some cabbage down to thin pieces and I saute it with some butter, salt, and pepper. And then I'll put some chili powder on it. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because it's the Mexican in me. But it makes the, the cabbage really tangy. And for some reason, I like that. Uh, my taste buds has been going all over the place since I've been trying to eat healthier, which noodles are not that healthy because they're high in sodium and uh, carbohydrates. And um, the calories are kind of high, too. Uh, they're about 500 calories, which is a meal, which I would consider this a meal. But, um, yeah, so this actually reminds me of the cabbage that I make sometimes. Spicy. 
Mm. Now, I recently tasted the Sriracha uh, Thai Ramen Noodle brand um, noodles. And this kind of tastes like that, too. Like a spicy, tangy kind of taste. Brooklyn, you can't make those noises while we're eating and on camera. I don't know if y'all heard it, but let's just say we don't call her an explosion for no reason. Now, these are not nowhere hot like the spicy noodle challenge like I did. If you haven't seen that video, you should go take a look. A lot of people like that video. Um, if you want me to, I can link it down below. This is just a mild hot. Would I recommend this? Yeah, I, I actually would recommend it. It's nice and flavorful. A lot of people that I know don't venture off on their food. They always stick to what they know, which is... Oh, no. She just spilled her noodles. Pick it up. Pick it up. Hold on, because I think it's on her foot. Okay. Well, she learned her lesson on that one. You need to sit down and eat your noodles. Don't be standing up. I don't know if you guys heard, but there's a new challenge out. It's called the One Chip Challenge. It's a tortilla chip, individually wrapped because it's so hot you can only eat one. It comes in a coffin looking thing. And I've been watching videos on that and <laughs> I think it might be hotter than the spicy noodle challenge. Spice, I'm kind of nervous. I really don't even know where to get those because the videos that I watched did not tell me where I could get the hot one chip challenge. I really hope this chip don't cost four ninety nine because I really don't want to pay a chip one chip for like five dollars. No, that don't make sense. But um. I watched this YouTuber, and it's her, uh, her name is, uh, Divine Munchies, and she ate five packs of the two times spicy noodles. Five packs! What the hell's wrong with her? She did the hot, she did the one chip challenge, and it was so funny. It was so funny because she wasn't expecting it, and the way her body reacted to the heat, it was... It was hilarious, but it did really scare me because I feel like it was uh, extremely high. If she can eat five of those, a nu nuclear times two challenge, and then she says this one chip is even hotter, then it makes me nervous. But when I do do the video, I will let you guys know. Once again, I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. Please hit the subscribe button. <clears throat> so you can make sure that you never forget any what or never skip any of my videos. Look at her. You want to come up? I'm probably gonna end my video now because Brooklyn's coming. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe my channel. <laughs> and Look. Say hi. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time. Bye bye. Say bye bye. <laughs>